Jaws, the hit horror flick that knew the shtick of quick flinch frights and other sh stuff. It sunk its teeth into the mainstream media in 1975 and has become a pop culture icon ever since. Yeah, I never watched it. I, I didn't see a lot of movies growing up. I did play it, however, on the PlayStation 2. You see, young ones, back before this new era of video game consoles that can be turned on and off wirelessly while you're seated 8 feet away in your nest of gamer carnage, we had these things called CDs that, after being spat on and ran across your shirt a few times, would allow you to interact with the virtual world. Okay, I don't know why I'm saying this, because CDs still definitely exist, but it... Anyway, one of the many games that my brothers and I enjoyed playing was named Jaws, after, after the movie Jaws with the shark. Now this game wasn't intended to be a horror game, at least I don't think it was considering you're playing from the perspective of the shark, which is the antagonist antagonist of the movie, I can't speak apparently, blah blah blah. Your main objective is to kill as many humans as you can. Okay, no, not actually just humans, more like anything that moves has a target on its back. Now, I would be remiss to say that I didn't absolutely love this game. Growing up, we weren't allowed to play super violent games like GTA 5 and Call of Duty until we were teenagers, so this game was our gateway into the depravity of mankind, and we ate that sh up. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I have thalassophobia. Thalassophobia. Still don't know how to pronounce it. The fear of the deep ocean. So you think that that would prevent me from playing a game like Nope. I sink more hours into this game than I did doing homework, which was impressive considering we were only able to play on the weekends. I absolutely loved this game un until it ruined me forever. Once upon a time in gaming, it was very common to have these things called cheat codes. It was a way to tamper with the game and derail you from the original playing experience that the devs actually allowed. Jaws for the PlayStation 2 had something similar to cheat codes where if you typed in a certain word in the menu, it would take you to a specific level. And the word we're going to talk about today is shark. Because it, it has three A's, so it's shark. Shark. I feel like I should be screaming it. I'm not going to scream it, but... I should probably be screaming it. When you typed in shark with three A's, you would be taken to a level that is so much different than any of the other ones in the game. The level itself is called the deep, and your main objective is to destroy this giant automatic fish catcher that the stupid humans made so that you can finally enjoy your meals in peace. The level opens up to a view of a tall metal structure placed in the center of the screen. Then the camera makes a quick dive into the water below, and you are greeted with the horror of darkness with no visible reference point other than the structure that fades down into the void. I honestly don't remember what happens after that in the cutscene just because I had my eyes sewn shut after the camera went under the water. But after that cutscene ends, you're spawn coasting on the waves, facing towards the automatic fish farm. As soon as you dive below the surface, you get a true sense of how massive this machine is and how far down it goes. If I remember correctly, you have this dash feature that allows you to dart super fast, but even while you're darting to the bottom of the pit, it still takes around 10 seconds to do so. But the worst part of this level to me is how incredibly dark it is. Even though it's the middle of the day above the water, once you go below the surface, it's ridiculously hard to see anything. While playing this level, you can expect to run into every single object just because you didn't know it was there in the first place. Now, I think your goal is to go inside the machine actually and break it somehow, but I also wouldn't be surprised if you're just supposed to bash into it a bunch of times until it just explodes. To this day, I don't think I'd be able to play this level without squirming in my chair the entire time. And even if I did manage to beat it, I'd probably end up swimming in my own sweat afterwards. All right, I guess I'm gonna finish this video here. <laughs> do you do you get it? Cause sharks have fins. All right, bye.